People at the University of Kansas Cancer Center are very excited about what their new machine can do. And the hospital says soon cancer patients and even the general public will be too. John Batten shows us this latest technology. We are the only ones who have this instrument in the state of Kansas. Inside this building is a modest looking machine that could make a big difference in the lives of cancer patients. This is one uh, circulating tumor cell. It detects rare cells in the blood that indicate the growth of cancer. So there are only a few cells that circulate very, very early on in the development of cancer. So if you can detect them, they would be very useful in starting an early therapy. Among the millions of cells in a typical blood sample, this machine can find those put out by a spreading cancer. They uh, can be used as a diagnostic to detect cancer very early, even before an X-ray or a CT can detect them. It's almost literally finding a needle in a haystack. Maybe 1 to 10, 1 to 20 cells among millions. So this technology can actually detect very few cells, up to one cell even. And that kind of sensitivity means not only early detection, but more effective treatment. We have used it to actually uh, to test new drugs in pharmaceutical industry as to how patients are responding. The machine and the test are expensive, but within a few years should be more widely available. It's a very, very effective and very sta uh, state-of-the-art technology. Another weapon in the war on cancer. John Batten, NBC Action News. Well, the cells are also appearing as a cancer is relapsing, and then the cells are migrating from the original site to other organs. The FDA has approved the test for colorectal, prostate, and breast cancers.